we're going to be riding Glencoe, one of the scariest things in the UK. <laughs> we're going to recreate the Mac Avalanche. Oh my God. It's something out of World War II. Oh my God, over the bars on this stuff. Are we going down the black now? Might find we're getting a bit more quiet now. In how? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good morning from the Drovers Inn in Loch Lomond. You can see it behind me. There it is, this place, 1705, beautiful. Stayed there last night. Well, stay there, stayed in the van. Ollie and Sam behind me there in the tranny. And uh, it is the day two of our trip, heading up to Scotland to Fort William. And today I think we're gonna be riding Glencoe, not sure, but first of all, I need to go and get a coffee. No. <laughs> so situated behind me is Glencoe mountain bike, I don't know what you call it, resort, uplift, gondolas. Um, so we're going to get on here. I've never ridden here before. I've heard some mad stories about the Black Run being one of the scariest things in the UK. Uh, so we'll be starting on the Reds, all on e-bikes. Some e-bikes in here and then mine's in here. Let's get kitted up. Don't mind admitting, I am slightly nervous about this one because uh, my mate JR is a very good rider. Uh, basically, but when I spoke to him, he was like, "Watch them trails. The black run is gnarly as hell." There's no button. It says, read the instructions after we've used it. Right. I think it's so far off. Ah, oh, the classic. Trying to get a tie on when you're not at home. Wait! <coughs> Milk, I'm in there. Got that fancy milk it thing. Didn't do shit. Got me lasagne doofer. Straight up. Right then. Let's see what Glencoe's all about. Is this it? I guess so. Hang on, buddy. Thank you. That's how you bike. All you can do is pick your bike up by the frame. Get the tray. No, just let your bike dangle. See where your bike's not go good. <laughs> Easy enough, as long as you don't fall off. Nice. Hey! Man, it'd be so easy to fall off this. How's that come? Ah. Now it's a bit safer. <laughs> black run and the red run is there apparently any riders coming down nope so apparently there's uh, two lifts but the top lift isn't open um, but we can ride up to the very top because we're on e-bikes and then like sort of do a, a mock mag av mega avalanche, not mega, mac avalanche, which could be interesting, which Ollie has done before. Uh, 
fuck up. It is wet, it is on and off, hopefully it'll dry or give us a break because it's going to be quite hard to keep the camera wiped clean. I'll try my best. So we're going to we're gonna recreate the Mac Avalanche. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, see the patches of snow up there? Yeah. Usually it starts up there, you get a couple hundred metres of snow and then you come down, follow that horizon. Yeah. Up to a bit of an uphill up to that peak. Yeah. And then you see this rough track back down? Yeah. Just past this, this lift? Yeah, yeah. And then you join onto the red and red all the way down to the bottom. So what are your best results at Mac Avalanche? Uh, first year did it, I won my category. Yeah. I think I got fourth or fifth overall in the mass start. Wow. And then the second year I punctured. Didn't do so well. I think I still got second. And what was your result at, um, in, where was it, abroad? The one you did, Madeira. Madeira, won, Tran I won Trans, uh, Trans Madeira in 2020, master, uh, Vets. But you were like, you got a really good overall there, didn't you? Yeah, uh, they got fourth overall. Just wow. Jono and Brendan. But so they did a chainless run. So if everyone watching is wondering why I can't keep up with you, that's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Line racing. Yeah. So, up we go, I guess. Climb's about to get pretty bloody techy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey! Sorry. It's alright. So for those of you who don't know, the Mac Avalanche, it's like Mega Avalanche, but a mini version. And it's a mass start from right up the top there to right down the bottom. Look at that for a bit of high tech counterweighting. Wow. That's the lift. That looks like something out of World War II. <laughs> oh my god. That's the one. So normally when that's open, you're sat on there with your bike on your lap. Yeah. That looks terrifying. That's it, Sam. Wow. <laughs> I think I'd rather ride up, to be honest. Turbulance is right up there. We're not going to hike a bike up there. So we're going to go down here. No heroics from me. Yeah, I've heard about the Mac Avalanche over the bar moments that everyone has. Try and avoid that. Okay. Let's go and get scared. Keep trying to wipe the camera. Well, hey. <laughs> I'm just following Ollie, and if he goes over the bars, I don't follow him. Certainly won't want to go over the bars on this stuff. Hello. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, he's not hanging about. Oosh. Oh hey, my god! Back end was overtaking me then. I'm not going to be going flat out down it. Oh my god! That's scary. I was quite jealous of you there with your new tyre on. I wish I'd have changed mine. I had peat bog roost when I... Wow. I'm going to show you my tyre. And I've got a new one, so I just haven't been bothered to do it. I wish I had now. Scared how fast we go down to the race. Yeah. It's mental to race down there. I don't know if I'd want to race that. No. I think you're inviting an accident. I think you're just letting off the brakes almost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it? And that's in winter, isn't it? Or when May. is May? May. 
so as you can imagine ollie is a fair operator on a bike always makes me a bit nervous behind people like him when they're going for it because i haven't got that skill so quite often i dare stick right behind them <laughs> oh god tell on gopro but this is uphill now obviously easy on an e-bike but ollie also is super fit and he said this bit you've had like the scaring yourself back there and now you've got to pedal like a, up here for a fair old way not for me that i think that's all the climbing which on this is easy it's been horrible on a regular Wow. So then, you see uh, the green, the yeah. bridge? Come, oh, it goes come down. The, see there's a little bridge? Yeah. yeah. Basically straight line by this. Oh my God. By this can. It looks more scary than the Mega. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've, they've tried to recreate it, haven't they? Yeah. They've done a good job there. Yeah, fair dues. I'd have just given up pedalling up there. <laughs> This is good fun, but I can't imagine going down here at race pace. slippy some of that mud it's horrible so i think now what it does is it comes across and then onto the red and down the red trail my top half's nice and dry my bottom half soaked come on ion do some waterproof trousers what we need yeah yeah thank you Right, so this is the red. No idea what to expect. Oh, could have maybe doubled that, I don't know. Nice. I like it, these, these Scottish tracks, are, they're sort of made, but not too gnarly. Well, not too, sorry, not too groomed. Always scary that first one down anything that's got any kind of lips on it. Trying to relax, turn those hips. Just be nice and fluid. Nice little way to stay on the bike. Same as last word. Oh my god. That's so good. I'm glad I'm not racing them. I'm going to be hot hand pumped up. Oh. I forgot what it's like to have your hands hurting. Do you just let off your brakes? You're a million miles an hour, aren't you? Yeah. That's close. They made this so well. We're like, I think we're only about 40, 50 minutes from Fort William here as well. So you know, we're going to get out and watch the four cross tonight. A few mates doing it. I think Oggy's doing it. Oggy has been on the podcast. Good mate. There's also rumours of Dan Atherton doing it, I don't know if he is now. It's been quite big, it's jumps like that one, it's just, you know, I don't know them. And I'm not very good at jumping, forgot about that bit. Oh, my hands are killing. There's some holes on the back side. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All I was thinking down there is that if that's how my hands are down here, what are they going to be down in the black run? I think you'd need to know that quite well to go for the jumps. Yeah. Yeah. And then, well, the and you got to hit them fast. The landings, the landings of rocks. Yeah, and like quite a lot of them would turn straight afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. 
those. And relax. So what do I think about that? It's alright. Good fun. No dovey bike park. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. Thank you very much. Are we going down the black now? Do you want it? Don't know. <laughs> Have a look at it. I certainly won't be pushing any pace. The fucking red was scary enough once you got a bit of pace up, wasn't it? Yeah, too close too. Mm. Just a few little, on the red, there was a few little rocks in places where you didn't want them to be when you get the pace up. Downhill bike would be lovely down that red. Yeah. Oh. Right. right then, here we go. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> Oh my god, it is for an absolute lunatic. Oh god, might find me getting a bit more quiet now. Full fear. Oh, I hate wooden bits. Oh my god. Wow! Jesus Christ! It's like the friggin' slab it! Uh, it's like the slab it, Dovey! Yeah. Wow! It's like a fucking staircase. It's quite tricky, Yeah, isn't it? Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. The <laughs> back wheel was trying to overtake me then. Ah. I've lost my bottle now. Right, come on, something f***ing funny. I lost my bottle a bit then. Oh my god. It's a mo motor bashes on this, isn't it? Oh yeah. You have like you'll have like one rock that most of it's good and then you'll have some where it's really slippy. Right, more more fear please. Just relax. That's all I gotta do. Ooh. Jesus. That's the line. Yeah, it is. This is so fing gnarly. Yeah, hey, I should have done that line. In fact, I'm gonna. I want to do it, but I don't want to fucking rip my neck off. I'll wait at the bottom and get, uh, get you on the camera. Where did he just go? Here.
can't imagine trying to race down here. I've got to do it in July. Have you? I bought a bike to do it. F***ing maniac. National champs. <laughs> You're off your head. <laughs> Shit! No! Oh God! That was deep mud! Nearly a bike swallow! Wow! This is the scariest track I think I've ever ridden. Where am I going? Oh, right, that's a double. Jesus Christ. I don't remember going down this again in Ori. Big step down. Wow. I was going to do it, but they put a cone there. <laughs> Even that rock section had like wheels swallowing mud, didn't it? That's insane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's like rugs. What's that? I made it down, basically. I think that's harder than the slab at Dovey. I've been, I've been Dovey. There's bits of Dovey that are scarier than that, but most that's like that scary the all the way down. Then that was like the fastest rock bit. There's deep mud in it as well, wasn't there? Well, that's what I'm quite happy to say I've done it. I'm not interested in doing it again sport williams is higher speed yeah less lumpy that's just kind of or, slower that's lumpy. one if you're going to come off the bike even at slow speed it's like you wherever your hands go you're going to go break some it aren't you yeah yeah now we can go on the red and think now this is easy <laughs> Well, I can safely say that I think that is the most scary track I've ever ridden down. It's um, There's a, the odd bit on the slab track at Dovey that's scarier, but in whole, that is scarier all the way down. <laughs> so I've done it, I've knocked it off. I ain't doing that again. We're going to go back on the red and see if we can put a smoother, faster run in now that it won't seem as gnarly. Whilst I was sat here on the lift, I just watched um, Lewis Buchanan's run where he gets the KOM on a trail bike down that black run, and it is insane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that up now. Just have a look. It's only a couple of minutes, and it is mental. Oh, what's that bright thing? That's blue sky. Look. I know. It's a sunny day. Oof, God. A little bit quick then. Woohoo! Okay, I nearly missed it.
Nice. Feeling a lot more comfortable on this now. Relax, relax, I'm gonna relax my arms so I don't get arm pump. Ollie is totally gone. It feels totally different now I've got goggles on. It feels more sort of mellow because you haven't got that noise of the wind but it feels like I'm going loads slower probably am What's that? Oh, that'll do me. It's good fun, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> Gave the hands a good workout. Then which time? Lovely. Glencoe ticked off the list. Now to head slightly further north, and go and watch some uh, dual slalom or whatever it is, four cross at Fort William. And I've got a delivery to make to fill out with.